Hello, transition friends. It's Mrs. Rauch. Um, just coming to talk to you a little bit about our last digital citizenship lesson that I won't get to teach to you live. I'll miss all the extra comments and not giving you lunch detention. Maybe just give one to yourself. Um, this is about digital drama and how things get started online and carry over to real life sometimes and how they can quickly uh, get out of hand online. So the first thing is, what is digital drama? So think about it in your head for just a second. What do you think digital drama is? Hopefully you've never been a part of it, but I'm guessing some of you have been. Um, so digital drama is when people use devices or apps or websites to start or for further a conflict between people. So a lot of times in Snapchat or Instagram, um, I'm guessing maybe if you still use House Party, um, that would be another one. Um, and they seem to escalate pretty fast because people take screenshots and share it with people and text them um, and all of those things. But now a lot of those apps let you know when someone has taken a screenshot of it um, so that you know who actually has a picture of it. So de-escalating something means to lessen the, the intensity or anger in a conflict. So that's something that you should think about, like how can you go back and help someone really think about what they posted and how it's affecting other people. Um, hopefully, like I said, you haven't ever been involved in this. Um, perhaps some of you have been. Um, but I hope that in this time where this is the only way that we can connect with people right now is that we are being kind when we're online and using those apps and things um, and we're not using them to be mean to people. We, everyone has enough going on in their lives right now. I do have a short video that I would like you to watch that goes along with a lot of the other videos we watched in Transitions. Um, a lot of the same kids are talking about what digital drama is. And then I have a little scenario for you to just look over. It's not going to be graded, but I would really appreciate it if you would look at it and then turn it in just for me. I miss seeing all of you guys in person. Um, hope to hear from you soon. Bye.